What's going on folks, it's Nike and welcome to an all new My Gym episode featuring the Boston Celtics and as we're now officially in the postseason, you can see that we are going up against the Toronto Raptors and as always I'm giving myself a limit of only being allowed to play two games in a round so that means that we're going to simulate the first few games and as you can see right there we already gave up one game simulating further you can see that we are now down in this series and after four simulated games we are sitting on a three to one deficit oh my goodness people all right they're facing elimination tonight on their home floor trying to salvage a win if if you're coaching what's your message tonight Shaq? my message is guys you just have to focus on this one game we're here our place our court our fans are jacked up. Everybody's jacked up. We have to go out and win. We expect to win. We should win. We're going to win. That's the story from here for now. Much more still to come, but it's time to go to the game. Thank you, Shaq and Ernie. And as we're going up against the Toronto Raptors in this game five of the first round of these NBA playoffs, you already know we have a long, long road ahead of us. If we want to make it to the second round, that means that we need to beat this very, very strong Toronto Raptors team three times in a row. And that is definitely not going to be easy. Although, if we are in fact trying to see the positive in the current negative situation, it is that two out of the three games are going to be played on our home court. And hopefully that is going to give us the advantage to in fact take this series to a game seven. But for now, I'm not even sure if our home court advantage is going to be a factor in this series, considering how great this Toronto Raptors team is actually playing and how great they're actually looking out there, you know? Kyle Lowry, DeMar DeRozan, Nick Young, Jonas Valanciunas and Amir Johnson. That is a solid starting five right there. Three playmakers out there on the court and two players in the paint who are known to protect the rim. So yeah, on that note, good luck to my Boston Celtics. We're going to need it in tonight's game and hopefully we can take this series, let's say to a game six first because I don't want to jump ahead and wish for a game seven when we're still in game five. But yes, for now, let's focus on game five and jump into this gameplay commentary. And as of now, we are actually playing really well out there, which makes me wonder how on earth we actually managed to lose three games against these Toronto Raptors but looking at the box scores of our previous games there were definitely two things happening over and over again Andre Drummond kept on getting a lot of fouls ultimately leading to the fact that he didn't get a lot of playing time and secondly we had Rajan Rondo out there just taking so many shots he should be distributing the basketball and not take all of these shots. But yes, in tonight's game, we are going to see Marcus Smart get a few more minutes. But for now, we got Rashawn Rondo getting that steal. And Paul Millsap throwing down a huge slam dunk right there. Getting that and one play as well. And as you can see, we are slowly but surely getting into this game. Finding our rhythm and get that out of here, DeMont Rosen. You are not going to score on Andre Drummond tonight. At least not when I'm out here making sure that he is not falling out of this game. So as of now, as we're approaching the end of the first half, you can see that we're currently sitting on a one-point lead. It is still a very close game. And look at Nick Young flopping for the second time in this game. But that led to a beautiful wide-open dunk for Andre Drummond. So I'll take it. As long as we are not getting called for charges, I am totally fine with the fact that Nick Young wants to be out here flopping all over the place. So as we now got Marcus Smart going up against Kyle Lowry, look at that speed right there. That is an easy layup for Marcus Smart. And he has certainly put this team on his back. Approaching the end of the first half, look at Nick Young once again flopping, leading to a wide open mid-range jumper for Marcus Smart. And like I said, this dude, he has been taking over this game, so I decided to put him into our starting rotation to replace Rajon Rondo. And let's see Marcus Smart and the rest of our starters go to work. We need to find a way to build up a lead because as of now, we are pretty much exchanging buckets with the Toronto Raptors and I don't like that I don't like that at all especially once we're approaching the end of the fourth quarter I don't want to get stuck in a fouling game considering that my Boston Celtics 
aren't really the best free throw shooting team. So as we got Gerald Green getting it to Paul Millsap in the post, look at that beautiful defense by Amir Johnson. However, the Martha Rosen sagging off of Avery Bradley, leading to a wide open three for him. So as we're currently approaching the end of the fourth quarter, we are sitting in a tied up game. But look at Marcus Smart right there, using that beautiful pick set by Paul Millsap to find himself a wide open drive to the basket and throwing it down with authority. And as we're now tied up at 66 points apiece, all we need is a defensive stop. But look at Marcus Smart right there getting called for a block and foul. Can you believe this mess? Oh my goodness. Mr. Kyle Lowry converting both of his free throws. And as we're now sitting on a two point deficit, Marcus Smart once again taking it straight to the rack with another huge slam dunk right there tying up this game once again 68 points apiece Kyle Lowry going up against Marcus Smart but oh my goodness he gets fouled by Andre Drummond and after converting his first free throw he gets the second one to go as well so once again we are sitting on a two point deficit and with around 30 seconds left I wanted to go for a two for one right there Andre Drummond getting the game time layup to go and with 24.4 seconds left on the clock we should be seeing the basketball back the mother Rosen couldn't get that shot to go but look at Jonas Valanciunas right there getting the rebound and the layup as well but as he is missing that free throw we are looking to convert a bucket quick because the Toronto Raptors defense isn't set up but Avery Bradley oh my goodness why was he fading on that shot attempt oh my goodness I cannot believe that that just happened to us a wide open three-point shot ruined by the 2k fadeaway animation that we didn't even want to go through oh my goodness but as you can see Marcus Smart he definitely put this team on his back and with that being said I'm pretty positive that he is going to be our starting point guard in the upcoming season and on that note, unfortunately, season one has been cut short after we got eliminated by the Toronto Raptors.